Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today I finally got the chance to review the deep cooled Gamer Storm Captain 360 all in one liquid CPU cooler. As the name already tells us, it's a 360mm radiator that this cooler has, and the affordable price of just around 140 US dollars makes the Captain 360 even more attractive for its size. I've wanted to review this cooler for a long time now already, and it's truly a highlight to me. Thank you so much Deepcool for sending me this liquid cooler and making this review possible. In the box is the closed loop liquid CPU cooler itself of course, the three 120mm fans, then a bag with all the mounting back plates, screws and so on, Deepcool's popular fan hub and last but not least, the user's guide. Pretty much everything you need for the installation. First of all, let's take a closer look at the radiator. It's a pretty standard but solid 360mm aluminum radiator. The dimensions are the following, 395 by 120 by 32mm. A closed loop cooler with a 360mm radiator is quite rare, but I'm glad Deepcool is now offering such a product. The tubing here is out of plastic, the quality seems to be really good. And as you may know, there's always this kind of battle going on in the closed loop water cooling world about which tubing is better or more reliable, plastic or rubber. All I want to say is, I've had them both and both have their advantages and disadvantages, but in the long run I've had better experience with plastic tubing since the rubber ones started showing some small cracks over time. The swivel fittings on a pump are a bit hard to move up and down, but are well made and that's what matters. And this now brings us to the pump unit. It looks very very unique, nothing I've ever seen before on an all-in-one liquid cooler, and although I prefer more minimalistic designs, I think this eye-catchy pump design looks fantastic and spectacular indeed, pretty much like a reactor. The pump shape is certainly kept a bit more angular, which I always like and even features a breathing red LED once it's in operation, and that's a nice extra touch in design. Besides, you get this transparent tube that lets you see the red coolant that flows through the tubing. To get a bit more technical about the pump, it features a three-phase induction motor and should guarantee a long lifetime of about 120,000 hours thanks to the zirconia ceramic bearing. On the bottom, a nice large copper base. Thermal paste is reapplied already, which I'm going to clean off though and use my own one. This cooler is compatible with all the important sockets we have and have had over the years. Intel LGA 2011, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366. AMD AIM3+, AIM3, AIM2+, AIM2, FM2+, FM2, and FM1. So now let's take a closer look at the fans. Included are three of Deepcool's GF120 120mm PWM fans with fan speeds of 600 to 2200 RPM. These three fans combined, according to Deepcool, have an airflow of 273.36 CFM at max. The noise level of these fans amount to 17.6 to 39.3 decibels. By the way, these are high quality FDB fans that's fluid dynamic bearing in case you didn't know, and these fans have a detachable fan impeller even with the option to lubricate the fans with oil to further extend the lifetime. Also the fans are dust, water and oil leakage proof. Although these fans partly are out of rubber to reduce vibration, they're still not the quietest fans on the market I honestly have to admit. Now once I've attached the fans to the radiator, the liquid cooler looks complete now. All the cables that could be easily seen in a case are nicely nylon braided to keep the system as tidy looking as possible, and same goes for the included fan hub. I've connected all the fans to it as Deepcool tells us to do in the manual, and I find it very kind of them to also include this 4 pin extension cable, just in case the cable of the fan hub would be too short, also nicely braided of course. The deep cooled Captain 360 liquid cooler looks absolutely fantastic once the fans are attached to the radiator and everything's connected. The installation as always with deep cooled CPU coolers is well thought out and fast and all the mounting brackets and back plates are out of metal. Installed into my system, the Captain 360 looks awesome. The pump looks great with the transparent tube and the breathing LED effect. As you can see, I'm using the MSI Z97X Power AC motherboard with its black and yellow color scheme together with MSI's GTX 770 Lightning with the same color scheme. 
yeah, I know the Captain 360's red and black color scheme doesn't really match the rest of the system, still, I don't really care about that as long as the individual components look awesome, and they certainly do. Then I guess it's time to do some testing with that cooler to see how well it handles my hot running overclocked Intel i7-4770K at 4.3 GHz. The Deep Cool Gamer Storm Captain 360 indeed is a powerful cooler, although not as powerful as I've expected it to be, but I guess that's why the price isn't higher. We have to keep in mind, this 360mm liquid cooler costs only $140, that's only a little bit more than most 240mm liquid coolers, such as the Corsair H105 that I also had in my charts to compare this Captain 360 with. The price therefore is a little bit higher on the Captain 360, but it's totally justified since it performs a little bit better than Corsair Strong H105. But with this deep cold Captain 360, it's not all about performance. This liquid cooler is meant to be eye catchy, it's meant to look different than most other coolers on the market, and it certainly does. Whether you like the kind of design they went for is a thing of preference, but I personally like it a lot. I am aware that many people won't have enough space in their case for a 360mm radiator, but there also is the Captain 240 with a 240mm radiator that should fit into most PC cases these days. The pump remains perfectly quiet, something not many manufacturers manage to achieve. However, Deepcool's included GF120 fans are more on the louder side once you go for fan speeds above 45%. Anything below that value is fine though, and doesn't sacrifice much cooling performance anyways if you leave it at such speeds. When it comes to the price performance ratio of this closed loop liquid cooler, well, you pretty much get what you pay for. You pay for a bit more cooling performance and the unique aesthetics that pretty much no one else offers. Very fair pricing in my opinion. Therefore, I can definitely recommend the Deep Cool Gamer Storm Captain 360 liquid cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit Nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.